Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the channel. Um, today we're going to talk about how we're going to finish these panels. Um, so obviously, uh, I think some of you have seen some of the distortions in the panels. Uh, these are a problem. We've decided that we're going to keep the carbon fiber look for a little while. And I don't want it to look like complete and utter crap. Um, which it does right now, frankly. <laughs> so... Um, we're going to probably fill those with some carbon fiber and epoxy, um, maybe a little mat, um, and then uh, smooth it off, and then we'll put an, a beauty layer of carbon fiber over the top of that. So that's not too big of a deal. I've done that before. Um, let's go around to the back and show you what we're after. So some of you have seen uh, some of the stuff that I did on this rear deck, okay? And although this finish isn't finalized. Uh, it's, it needs uh, one more sanding and then another layer of UV uh, stable epoxy. So that's what we're going to do. That stuff is quite pricey so I only want to use it on one layer. It should have plenty of depth. Um, skin depth of ultraviolet light is actually quite short um, so I'm not too worried about it getting through and yellowing the uh, regular epoxy. But this is kind of what we're going for. We're going for a nice flat finish. You can see there's still a few little wirbles in there. So there's still some more body work that needs to be done. And you can see there's, there's a little bit of uh, kind of some sort of film on the top, which is sometimes typical if you have a little uh, too much humidity. It's called blushing, but that'll sand right out. Um, so anyway, this is kind of the finish that we're going for. Nice carbon fiber look and a nice smooth finish. So, what I've done is I've removed this panel that we've already put uh, two layers of thick epoxy, which is this stuff right here I get from Composite Envisions. Um, and then you also need a hardener, um, but that has a universal hardener for it. And then I've taken it out here. I've got my sanding blocks out, my Jura blocks. I love these things. They're great. They bend. Uh, they can stay flat. You just put on a spool of sandpaper and go to town. Now, as you can see, with these extra two layers, um, what a lot of body guys will use that I've seen is um, basically a guide coat, uh, which you spray on and it leaves it black. Well, that's the beauty of this stuff is we don't need any guide coat because you can see where the high and the low spots are. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down and what I want to avoid is, let's see, here's an area right here. Um, this is actually where we've just gotten through to the carbon fiber. So we want to stop there and you'll notice that on the, I think I can demonstrate it here. You see a little bit of black on there. That's the carbon fiber, obviously. Um, so anyway, we're going to um, stop there and then we'll probably uh, flat this all off and then we'll get in these uh, shiny areas with a uh, scotch bite pad, which I have some over here. Ooh, there's the car. Hee hee hee. Back's looking pretty cool, huh? Yeah, right, anyway. Uh, scotch bright pads. So we've got green scotch bright, and we've got a little bit more aggressive red scotch bright. So that's what we uh, use to roughen up those shiny spots. So we can put another um, uh, layer of epoxy on here. We'll probably use the thin epoxy um, for the next layer and the one after that, and we'll just keep sanding it back until it's nice and smooth. And the nice thing is, is that these edges will start coming out too. So we'll start getting those really nice body lines. We'll be taking out all the bumps and warbles on the body lines, taking all that stuff out. Now, one of the things I really haven't figured out yet is what we're going to do about gaps. Okay, obviously we have some serious gapping issues. So... Now, if I'm doing this hood and I'm going to be filling in these distortions and putting a beauty layer on top, I think that's the time to put in a little bit of filler um, to put the beauty layer on top. And I don't think we're going to need to do that so much with this uh, front fascia. 
but we definitely have to do it with the hoods. So that's maybe where we'll take up some of that gapping. Um, we also have to do it on some of these parts, like the fenders, we have some distortions. So again, a beauty layer on top of that. So that's the time uh, to do this. Now, what I've done is I love my Duraglass. So I like my Duraglass. The only problem I don't like with it is it's green. And since I don't want to put paint um, on top of it to mask it so that it doesn't show through the carbon fiber, and I don't want to pay $80 a yard for carbon fiber, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with some uh, tints, some black tints, so that the uh, body filler will be black. And then that way when we lay over our beauty layer, you won't be able to see through to it. So, so that's what we're going to do there. Um, obviously, things like the doors and the rear quarters came out, I wouldn't say perfect, but they don't have any distortions in them. And this is what we saw in an earlier video where I'm going to be redoing these, the scoops, right here. So you can see that um, I've started printing out the, the scoop bases. And what I've done is I've made sure that we stay to our five millimeter thickness with a fast honeycomb. And that's what the rear quarters uh, were printed and also the doors. And that's why the doors actually don't have any distortions on them. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'll do a next video where we show uh, the next layer and sand down. And hopefully you'll see the progression of this getting um, a lot smoother and the body lines starting to really pop out of the uh, carbon fiber. So we're going to keep going with this. Uh, it's going to start getting cold around here in Colorado. We're actually expecting snow on Thursday and 15 degree low. Uh, so it's going to be a little hard to do a lot of this. So I'm going to take some of it inside and start coating some of the panels um, while we're stuck inside and can't sand outside. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, there's more to come. And um, like I said, I'll try to keep doing one a week. If I can do more, I will do more. So thanks again for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.